In the normal fetus, the interventricular septum lies 45 degrees from a line drawn from the spine to the anterior chest wall. The normal position of the heart is plus or minus 20 degrees from the position of the septum in this image. If the septum deviates more than 20 degrees, malrotation must be considered. Malrotated hearts are often associated with structural abnormalities. One of the more difficult challenges is the identification of correct situs in the fetus. The next two slides will illustrate one technique for accomplishing this task. This clip illustrates movement of the transducer when the fetus is in the vertex position. The examiner is facing the monitor. The examiner's right is facing the left side of the monitor, and the examiner's left is facing the right side of the monitor. The examiner is facing the head of the patient. By lifting the transducer edge off of the maternal abdomen, the examiner can confirm that the above relationships are present. This is illustrated in the next slide. This clip demonstrates movement of the transducer on the ultrasound monitor confirming the proper relationship of the transducer to the monitor screen. In addition, the clip demonstrates a transverse sweep confirming the position of the four-chamber view in the stomach for a fetus in the vertex position, the left side down. This exercise is useful to determine the proper orientation of the transducer when determining situs. If the transducer is flipped, the examiner may become confused and incorrectly identified abnormal situs or malrotation of the heart. This illustrates the position of the four chamber view when the fetus is in the vertex presentation. This illustrates the position of the four chamber view when the fetus is in the breech presentation. This demonstrates a case of dextrocardia, the stomach on the left and the heart rotated to the right. Other than straightforward dextrocardia, there are two other syndromes associated with malrotation of the intestinal tract and heart, polysplenia and asplenia. The above table lists the differences between the two syndromes. ASD indicates atrial septal defect, AVC, atrial ventricular canal defect, DORV, double outlet right ventricle, IVC, inferior vena cava, PS, pulmonary stenosis, SV, single ventricle, SVC, superior vena cava, and TGA, detransposition of the great arteries.